Welcome back. Well, here's the current view looking out from Bethany Lutheran College in Mankato. Another quiet start to the day. Again, temperatures are falling below freezing this morning, so we could deal with some patches of ice out there, but uh, not quite as cold as yesterday morning. In fact, a little bit warmer out there. We're at 31 degrees here in Mankato and St. Peter, which is the warmest we have in the area follow, uh, other than Owatonna, which is sitting at 34 degrees. Then we have 30 degrees in Wasika and Albert Lee with 29 in Blue Earth, 28 degrees in Fairmont, St. James and Jackson. And the lowest we have is about 25 degrees in Glencoe, Olivia and Marshall with 23 degrees down in Forest City. So anywhere from those mid 20s up into those low to mid 30s out there. Again, quite a bit warmer than yesterday morning. Winds a little bit lighter as well. They are coming out of the south southwest anywhere up from calm conditions to 10 miles an hour. And this is something we're going to notice through the day today. Occasionally, a couple areas may reach upwards of 15 miles an hour, but nothing too drastic. Satellite radar imagery shows that we did have a little bit of cloud coverage through the overnight hours, but a lot of that is cleared. We had a little bit of a sprinkle near Albert Lee on I-90 that did mix with a little bit of snow, so there could be some slick spots from Albert Lee eastward for those of you that are going to be traveling on I-90 this morning. So just use some caution down in that area. It did not last very long, so it'll likely be cleared up very quickly. But again, you don't want to take that for granted and just think that, oh, it's cleared up now. Just slow down, take your time. Taking a look at the future cast, we've got a little bit of cloud coverage potentially moving into the area, but... Other than that, we are going to be mostly sunny today, very similar to yesterday. Temperature is actually a little bit warmer this afternoon than yesterday, so it's going to feel fantastic out there. Winds a little bit lighter. Tonight, we're going to stay mostly clear to partly cloudy. With temperatures dropping tonight and the little bit of snow that's still left to melt, we are looking at areas of fog developing overnight into tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning's commute, wherever you're going, school, work, or taking the kiddos off to the babysitter, whatever it may be, you may have some pockets of fog out there. That'll quickly clear up, and then we are going to go from partly cloudy to mostly cloudy as the day goes on. Through the late afternoon hours, northern Iowa could see a couple stray sprinkles through the late afternoon hours into the late night hours. But again, accumulation-wise, just looking at trace amounts, just enough to make everything a little damp out there. And again, it's not going to be scattered showers. It's going to be more of an isolated chance. Today, pleasant, feeling like spring again. We're looking at a high of 45 degrees with light winds. Get out there and enjoy this wonderful weather we have. Tonight, it's going to get a little chilly, but not too bad. Areas of patchy fog possible, light winds, and a low of 26 degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your extended forecast. Almost 50 in the forecast for tomorrow, even though we are looking at partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. We do have a weak cold front moving through, so it's going to drop temperatures into low 40s on Thursday and eventually those mid 30s on Friday. But we'll still see that sunshine and get excited because going into early next week, we may see close to 60 degrees. We're watching that temperature very closely because we could end up rising up into those low 60s on Monday. And then we'll cool back off with another cold front through the middle of next week going into the end of next week. Stay tuned, we'll be back after the break.